Halloween. Hey guys, what is going on today? Bojoa here, and as you guys saw by that intro, today is going to be a very special Halloween theme pack opening here on NHL 19 in Hockey Ultimate Team, where we're going to be opening up a bunch of these choice packs here. I got three mini choice packs, two premium choice packs, and one extreme choice pack, and pretty much the best cards that we get as a result from these packs are going to be put on the line at the end of this video, where we're going to test my wits and do a jump scare video reaction challenge for those cards. And if I flinch, react, scream, do any kind of physical movement or anything on my face that actually shows that I've reacted to that jump scare in a very uncharacteristic manner other than just sit, sitting through it and braving right through it, card's getting quick sold. But if we sit through it, we get to keep it. So I thought it would be better to open up the packs first and see what cards are going to be on the line. That way I might actually have a chance to be a bit braver at the end of this video. But let's uh, let's see what is going to be on the line here. Alright, so let's start off with the mini choice packs first. We'll just work our way up. We'll start with the low things first, then we'll just move right on up the ladder. Like I said, these are choice packs, so I'm pretty sure that players are in the first rounds here. And I'm definitely looking for some interesting type of players, that's for sure. So we'll take Tyson Berry, why not? And then, I don't know, we'll take, uh, I guess, the Silver Rare. Yeah, so I'm pretty sure the mini choice packs really don't have anything. Your players are going to be in your first uh, round, and then pretty much your uh, collectibles and contracts are going to be in the next rounds as well. So I want to try to grab the Witches ones, I believe, because I think those are the ones for the Evander Kane set. So I want to make sure we grab most of the same collectibles to start. Here we go with pack number two. Come on, give me another Gold Rare. All right, Jeff Carter and some more silver rares at least all right so we're working our way up 82 overall now all right our last mini choice pack here so an 81 and an 82 so far are our best pulls out of these packs let's see if this last pack is going to bring us we got 69 overall 64 64 and then nate schmidt just got a crazy good contract from the vegas golden knights but he'll be the best pull out of there so not really anything too fantastic from the mini ones all right so we're moving on to the premium choice packs now uh, 12 items over four rounds, three to five, so we get three uh, players now per round, or three items per round. So let's move on with these. Let's see what we're going to get. Josh Morrissey, 81, Carl Klingberg, Philip Forsberg, Luca Zazula, and uh, Jordan Perrette. All right, so not bad. I'll take the three golds right here in a row. Uh, oh, we get gold players in this round as well. Okay, so we get non-gold rares in this one. Uh, who do I want? Um... I don't really need any of these guys for the sets, I don't think. Nah, so I'll just take the highest overalls. Why not? Here we go. Another premium Halloween choice pack. Here we go. So players in the first two rounds. Let's go. Come on. Give me something good. All right. Kevin Rooney. Pavel Buchanevich. Uh, Lassie Lapalainen. Victor Hedman, boys. There we go. That is a very good card to have on the line. 85 overall Victor Hedman. Oh, man. That's going to be a... Uh... <laughs> All right. Got to put my brig... Big Brave Boy pants on, that's for sure. Here we go. Second round. I don't know if we can get gold rares in this one. We can. Nikita Kucherov. Oh, my goodness. Nikita Kucherov is going to be on the line as well. 285 overalls. Back-to-back 85-plus -back bulls in this one as well. Oh, man. This is going to be... <laughs> We're going to have... I'm not looking forward to this, dude. I'm not looking forward to the end of the video. <laughs> All right, so we're moving on to the final pack here, the Extreme Halloween Choice Pack. 20 items over five rounds. We get four of them. Guaranteed gold rare players. Guaranteed Halloween collectibles. Come on. We got 285s that we're definitely going to be, hopefully, not quick selling here. All right, Morgan Riley is the first one. Joel Erickson Eck. There's an 86 overall alumni, Frank Mahovlich. Or Mahovlich, how the heck you pronounce it. Uh, team of the week, Logan Couture is also in this pack. Austin Matthews is also here. And a Nathan McKinnon. What a round. Holy smokes. My God. Well, I know which four I'm holding on to right here. 
I don't need Morgan Riley or Joel Erickson Eck for anything, but I'll take an 86 alumni, Team of the Week, Logan Couture, Austin Matthews, and an Nathan McKinnon all going to be available. Obviously, all four of these guys aren't going to be on the line, so I'm going to have to check and see which four are the most expensive cards on the market. Man, that was a really good first round there. Four really good cards in a row. All right, so we got some non-rare golds here. Let's see if do we get anybody from the sets. That'd be nice. Well, I got a rare Alexander Barkov. I'm not upset about that. I'll grab Limbaum because he's awesome. Dezingle, and uh, let's get Ronwald. Why not? All right, not a bad pack opening there, boys. Not a bad pack opening haul from those packs that we indeed opened, but... Yeah, I'm going to have to double check on most of these cards on the market to see which four uh, cards are the most expensive for uh, our pulls right here. I'm not going to count the collectibles or anything like that. I'm just going to count the cards. Let me go check some prices and uh, let's see what the four most uh, expensive cards were. All right, guys, so after checking some prices out on the market, it looks like the three cards that we are going to be putting up on the uh, Jump Scare Discard Challenge here at the end is going to be Nathan McKinnon is roughly going for 25k, so he's going to be on there. Kucherov is also going for about 25k, so he's going to be on there. Victor Hedman is going for 30, so 100% he's going to be on that as well. And then between uh, Mahavlich, Matthews, and Lone Couture, Lone Couture is actually the cheapest out of the three, and Mahavlich and Austin Matthews are roughly both going for around 15k each, so... Whatever one I decide to quick sell, um, I'll go ahead and do it. I'll probably just quick sell the Matthews because I'd rather take a chance of upgrading this uh, Mahavlich in the future. So Matthews, Kucherov, Hedman, and McKinnon are all up for quick sells here. Let me switch the camera over to over here and uh, let's be brave. All right, guys, so here we are. I got the videos all loaded up here. And just so you guys know, in hopes that I wasn't cheating, I pretty much just asked one of my friends to send me a jump scare video. I didn't look at it previously to this. I just let it load up, and I'm just going to go through it. Like I said, four cards are on the line. Austin Matthews, Nathan McKinnon, Nikita Kucherov, and Victor Hedman all are on the line here in this challenge. Just going to try my best to get through it. We're going to start from the uh, lowest profit card and go all the way up to the highest profit card and see how well we can get through this so i turned the volume down just a little bit because i know these things do tend to get loud and i really can't adjust volume all too crazy so uh i turned it down a good bit but it's still pretty decent enough in my earphones so here we go so first one austin matthews is the first card on the line here we go Damn it. <laughs> oh, God. Son of a bitch. Austin Matthews is gone. I know that for a fact. All right. Number two. Let's keep it rolling. All right. I think I've seen this one before. This looks familiar. Don't know when it's going to pop up or anything like that, but it's definitely going to pop up soon. I know that for a fact. It's probably not this one. It's coming on to the second one. Yeah, it's going to pop up soon. Probably like roughly around here-ish, I think. It's probably going to pop up right about now. Yep, it's not even going to get to the end of the end of the red mark, more than likely. More than likely, it's going to pop up right about now. Come on. <laughs> God, son of a bitch. It's so much louder than I expect it to be. All right, well, the Kucherov and the McKinnon are pretty much hand in hand on this one. I'm going to lower the volume down a bit, too. It's still way too loud for me. Like, it's so, it might not look loud on here, but it's so loud on my freaking headphones. You are one ugly person, you are. All right, number three. A 
Well, this is nice. Ballet. I'm sure it's gonna get much terrible. That one didn't get me that bad. I don't think I reacted too much. I know you guys can't really see too much because of the lighting, but that one definitely did not get me as badly as I thought it would. I'm going to consider that one a win. Kucherov and Matthews are definitely gone, so Victor Hedman is the last one to go here. So let's, uh, let's keep it rolling. Oh, okay. I've seen this one before. You know what? I'm going to skip this one because I've definitely seen this one before. Yeah, I've seen this one a couple of times where that stupid lady comes up. So I've seen that one before. I'm going to skip that one through. We'll go to the last one here. I've seen that one. I know in that. I know what that one is. I think I've seen this one before too. <laughs> oh god, it's a German like or Netherlands commercial too. <laughs> I I have seen that one before. I just don't didn't remember when it was going to pop up, damn it. All right. Well, Victor Hedman is gone too as well. Jesus. Damn you, internet. I hate the internet. All right, so I just kept the webcam over here just for the last part of the video, but we uh, we got three cards that unfortunately we need to sell here. So unfortunately, Nikita Kucherov, Victor Hedman, and Austin Matthews will be saying adieu to them due to the fact that I couldn't be brave. But Nathan McKinnon will be able to stay because that third one that we uh, watched, I'd say I did a pretty good job of staying pretty content with that one. That one didn't actually get me all too badly. Just to show you guys, Nikita Kucherov, quick sell, goodbye. Victor Hedman, the one I am not using on my team, quick sell, goodbye. And then finally the last card, the Austin Matthews that we pulled. Unfortunately, quick sell, goodbye. But we do end up getting to keep that Nathan McKinnon, which was awesome. And uh, and let's just remind myself in the future to uh, never do something like that ever again. But I hope you guys did enjoy. Make sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe as always. I hope you guys have a happy Halloween. Other than that, I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.